Hello, you guys, and welcome to Reviews with Whitney D. I'm Whitney D. Let's get into this, shall we? It's just my view. Okay. <laughs> I digress. Okay, so reported by USA Today, um, Jada Pinkett is, is again talking about her unconventional marriage with Will Smith. Um, that'll kill me, Jada Pinkett Smith knew she, Will, weren't cut out for conventional marriage. So I'm going to read this article and then I'm going to get into my commentary, okay? It states, Jada Pinkett Smith knew she and husband Will couldn't have a conventional marriage. The Red Table Talk host, 47, continued her streak of being brutally honest about her personal life in a new interview with The Guardian, in which she opened up about having tough conversations with her husband of almost 22 years. I knew that I was not built for conventional marriage, she said. Even the word wife is a golden cage. Shallow, the, swallow the key. Even before I was married, I was like, that'll kill me. And it damn near did. So why wouldn't you share what you've been through when you see that other people are out there trying to figure this crap out? We decided to make it public because it's part of the healing. I feel like if we don't have real understanding about it, I don't know if interpersonal relationships are possible. Pinkett Smith often makes headlines for voicing provocative ideas about the difficulties of marriage but she likes to clear one thing up that doesn't mean she doesn't love being married to smith will is my life partner and i could not ask for a better one she said i adore him i never want people to think it was will i didn't want to marry he and i were talking about this the one the other day but I can assure you that some of the most powerful women in the world feel caged and tied because of the sacrifices they have to make to be in that position so I wanted to talk about how we really feel about marriage how do we really feel about different unconventional relationships how do we really feel about raising children honestly how did Jade, how did Pinkett Smith get through the times she felt caged and tied? She credits the woman in her life for helping her talk things out, just like she now does with her daughter, Willow Smith, and mother, Adrian Benfield, Norris on Red Table Talk. When I was going through a really tough time in my life, there were three women, three friends who were so honest with me. I mean, so honest with me saying some stuff you would never expect anyone to say, that they redirected my journey, she said. But it wasn't necessarily advice. It was that they were willing to spend time with me and share. Okay, so you were able to hear um, the article. Now, here's my intake on this, okay? Since I can remember when it comes to uh, Jada and Will Smith's relationship, we never got as much as a in-depth um, view until she got on Red Table Talk. And I'm a huge friend, fan of Red Table Talk, but here's my thing. It was one time where Will actually came onto the show, and if you notice, Jada was doing more of the talking in regards to their relationships and the dynamics. I feel that in this marriage, if you will, Jada is the one that's really wearing the pants in the sense of how she's guiding this marriage. I don't think that Will Smith has a problem with having a conventional marriage. It's Jada that has the problem. And since Will loves her and adores her so much, he's just going along with the ride, okay? But if you ask me, I feel in my heart, um, being a married woman, that Jada has been hurt and didn't really get a clear view concept of marriage and so she's doing her best to shy away from it and what irritates me is that when people try to push and force their beliefs um, uh, um, their their uh, their views onto people 
that's why I was so against the whole um, uh, thing with the whole author um, and the same-sex marriage and stuff like this. This is my thing. I don't care if it's same sex. I don't care if it's straight sex. I just don't want sex being presented to my children. Okay, that's my choice to have the discussion with my child. So when you cross over to those lines, it's an issue with me. But I digress. I just feel that she's going on this this um, unconventional uh, tour, if you will. She's always talking about it, you know. And we still don't have a good understanding of what exactly is your marriage. What 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 you know? What is what? I mean, it's like she's confused if you think about it. First, you're talking about we don't we um, are life partners. So what does that mean exactly? What what does that mean? You know. Um, then you say we're in a marriage, but it's not conventional. Okay, so what does that mean you know and my thing is and i get the i, I I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly what that mean now are you saying that you guys are in a marriage but what you're free what i mean what what exactly are you talking about i'm kind of confused and the thing is is that um you know i feel there's nothing wrong with a, con a conventional marriage traditional if you will you decide what your marriage is going to be but keep on the track of it being a marriage okay let's stop playing and blurring the lines or whatever either it's a marriage or it's not it's what you guys contractually and got into the relationship for i mean got into the marriage for because you do sign a contract people and i hate when people say oh i'm so caged in i'm so about you're not i'm not caged in as a wife as husband and wife we sat down and we decided how our marriage is going to be you know and how it's going to benefit both of us but it is indeed a marriage and it is conventional in the sense of it's husband and wife and we are procreating and we are you know flourishing and trying to flourish our marriage and our relationship okay and the thing is is that um we're not pressuring nobody to be straight we're not pressuring nobody to follow our way of life you know we just um live you know and um I only answer and give advice when it is asked, you know, and that's exactly what it is. It's just my way of doing things. I'm not going to pressure anybody to believe that this is the right path or whatever the case may be. Not saying that Jada is, but if you listen every time and even on her show. Sorry, you guys, I was having some crazy technical difficulties with my um, camera. But I wanted to continue the conversation with a voiceover because I think this is a very good um, conversation. But as I was stating was that if you really look at it, that's more being caged and um, tied down if you ask me. You mean to tell me that we can't get a divorce or if we do get a divorce, just to save face and be in the same atmosphere, we are going to stay in the same home. You're going to be on one side of the house i'm going to be on another and you you know you're going to have who you have i have who i have that is stupid that's ignorant i am going to release you and allow you to continue to live your life with whomever you live with with no restrictions no hesitation and that's going to be that on that and that's crazy for people to be clapping and kudos even if you notice um, the um video that she did when she was stating that her mom was like and that was crazy to me you know and here's my thing to each their own you live how you live but don't make it seem like just because for you you know uh, it's okay that oh it's a way of life and everybody feels this way no everybody does not feel that way jay no i'm sorry i love my marriage as traditional as it may be, or as untraditional as it may be at times. However, it's my marriage. I love my husband. Um, I love our growth. I love the good, the bad, the ugly. And I love the fact that he's mine, okay? And I'm not sharing him with anyone. He cares not to share uh, me with anyone. We work on trying to be fulfilled um, within ourselves and within our marriage and we are enough for one another and um i'm okay with that and i'm happy with that and i think that that stands far beyond being in a marriage that you are partially happy with 
Because I say partially because clearly you're not fully happy if you are seeking other sources outside of that individual, you know, and miss me with the whole one person cannot fulfill everything that you desire. Yes, they can. <clears throat> okay, trust you me. Yes, they can. But whenever you open yourself up to um, other individuals, you are pulling from being able to give all in all to one individual. Duh. Okay. But if you focus on one individual at a time, you can very well be everything that person needs you to be. And in, in all actuality, you need to be a complete person before you get with somebody anyway. You can't expect to get with somebody and for them to complete you. You need to be a completed individual. And when you get with them, they fulfill you. But anyway, don't give me lecturing, okay? Tell me what you think about this whole article and what Jada Pinkett Smith uh, stated in the comments down below. Are you here for the unconventional and the untied down and unrestrained, but you with your lover at one end of the house and I with mine at the other end? Because we are life partners in this life journey. Or are you with me? And you're like, miss me with the bull. Okay. Tell me what you think down in the comments below while you're there please take out the time to like share and subscribe if you already are a subscriber hey <laughs> welcome to the family do not forget to share this video so we can grow our family give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw and heard and while you're there do not forget to click that notification bell so you know every time I upload. Thank you so very much. This has been Reviews with Whitney D and I'm your girl Whitney D signing off. Deuces. Bye. I digress. Signing off. <laughs>